You say hi. 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 Um, and we've had a bit of a busy morning. Didn't feel, really film it because we wrapped a hi. birthday party. And I try not to film like other people's children because I don't think it's fair. Um, but we've just got back. It was me and Bill that went, and then Mark and Daisy stayed at home. And she walked all the way to Aldi with Dada, didn't you? Which is really good. And he spoiled her to a little princess magazine, which is why we have little pretend makeup and stuff, which. Like, I don't know. I never ever expected her to be super girly girly girl, but she, she definitely is. And she's just been doing my makeup, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see that little piece? Oh, are you sharing your birthday cake? Don't eat it all. Yum yum. You say thank you. Thank you. Mm. So, I might have just come upstairs for a second to hide, <laughs> which sounds really bad. Um, we got back, obviously, from South Play and stuff like that, and Daisy had her lunch, Bill had already eaten while he's out. I am at that stage at the moment where I just feel like I'm constantly full, so I've just not felt hungry this morning since breakfast. Um, but Mark's mum and sister are coming to visit in like probably about like 15 20 minutes i think and i am one of those super super house proud people so i have to tidy up when i have guests like it's i've always been like that and i think that it definitely stems from having two houses that have been like do uppers in the past because i've always felt really like embarrassed when they're in such a bad state so at least i thought well if i can't make them look nice I'll at least i'll make them clean and it stuck with me so i've just like <laughs> hoovered upstairs and downstairs since Daisy woke up from her, from her nap um, I've like wiped down surfaces, I've like mopped the floor in the kitchen and in the hallway I've like put toys away and tidied things you know like when you find things that need to go upstairs and then things that are upstairs that need to go downstairs and it's like one of those and then um, when we had the flooring done and the screen in particular there were a few marks on the wall in the hallway so I've literally dragged the like tin of paint a big tub of paint out of the cupboard on the stairs and touched up bits of paint but they've not seen it since we had it done and like obviously like when you pay like money to have something done like that you want it to look like it's best so I thought I'll just touch those bits up and then I thought and when I've done all of this I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna read my book and then I've like looked at the clock and I'm thinking this is just no point really because they'll be here soon <laughs> but I am really pleased I've, I've done it I'm one of those people that just like I, I'm always going to be on the go um it's quite a lot to do for a pregnant woman admittedly but it's a Saturday and I've nothing else to do now for the rest of the day um and it'll be nice to see them as well and at least like I've got on top of all my cleaning so that's that ticked off the list but I thought rather than going to sit in the living room where I'm gonna get like rolled on my two children I thought I'll just stay up here and lie on the bed and be lazy so that's what I'm gonna do um but yeah it's one of those I never know whether to film my Mark family are here because like that's I always believe that like this is my choice so sticking a camera in people's faces never feels quite right so like it might be that it jumps to like later on this evening next I don't know we'll just have to see how it goes but um yes I'm going to lie here for a bit now I'll leave you I can hear you say let the sun shine on the broken so it's a bit later on now, around half past six, and Pat, Mark's mum, and Ali, Mark's sister, have gone. It was really nice to see them. <coughs> oh, sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Because they obviously live 
and they're depressed and wearing marks from so we don't see them often and it's kind of hit me that probably the next time I'll see them I will have a baby which is crazy but um they bought me um some lovely flowers for my 30th which are so pretty so Pat and Ali if you watch this I don't know if you do actually but thank you because I absolutely love them I need to put them in a vase um and I've also got like a card thing here that I've not opened yet so need to do that um but i have just come in and put the oven on and emptied the dishwasher mark's in the front room with the kids because we are having our valentine's day meal tonight i guess i know it's not valentine's day and it's in four days time but like on a wednesday with kids i can see william peeping around the door <laughs> are you okay yeah but i'll show you what we're having anyway in a sec you hate courgette really i was just showing bill what we're having for dinner so our starter is mini baking goat's cheeses which i got some crusty bread for and some salad <laughs> then we have lamb steaks with red wine and balsamic glaze which look really really yummy and then we've got some mediterranean vegetables and some parmenti potatoes and you are going to go to bed shortly aren't yeah. you yes you are we've already had our dinner yes you have already had your dinner and you just had a bath haven't you yeah yeah, you had a nice day today. Yeah. yeah good. Let the heat find all the frozen. Nanites. Yeah. Yes, you are. You have to go, Nanites. Yeah. Your mama and dada can be romantic and watch a film. Are you gonna go, Nanites? Good girl. Come on then. Okay. You've had cowpaw for your teethies. Okay. Okay. She keeps asking for cowpaw. That's some. You get that kiss? <laughs> Oh, would you look at the size of that? It's one big baby belly. And this is what I'm wearing for a Valentine's Day meal for two. Lucky Mark, eh? So it's Sunday morning and you will have to excuse the state of me because I am exhausted to the point where I got up with the kids and then Mark came down after a lion which he thoroughly deserves because he's been getting up with the teething daisy and letting me rest. And then when he came back down, by 10 o'clock I had fallen asleep on the sofa for like an hour. 
So I have had a shower and I've washed my hair, it's not dried yet. This is all stuff that needs to go in the recycling, so I'm sorry about that. But <laughs> we are trying to do a little bit of baby prep today and Mark has built the base of the snooze pad. I am just trying to give the fabric outer lining a quick wash again because I washed it before I put it into storage, but you know when you're just a bit like, mm, I'm gonna wash it again just in case. Because we've not used that since since Daisy was tiny and it's um it's quite uh it's quite like emotional because um I remember when I was pregnant with her and we built it and we had it set up in my room or our room for ages and um I used to look at it every day and be so 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 excited to have her in it. But obviously she never came home <laughs> so uh I hid it away in her nursery and I never ever looked at it the whole time that she was in the queue because I was frightened too, I don't know why, I just couldn't look at it and then um, when we finally got the call to say that she was coming home and um, we could prepare for her and stuff, I finally got it out and set it up again so to see it again it's like we're setting it up and I just really really hope that this time I don't have to hide it away anywhere, I know that's really silly. Um, but it just sort of brings it back because I know that all signs point to positive but there's always going to be a part of me that worries and it's um it's getting closer now and that's um it's hard it's really exciting but it is hard um but anyway I wanted to show you a car seat this is Daisy's old Dina and um I've washed it, like sorted out all the covers again and um, got a newborn insert. I actually couldn't find part of the newborn insert that I had when we had it with Daisy. I have no idea where I put it. And um, I know the PR team because we reviewed this when um, Daisy was small back when I was more of a blogger and I was chatting to them and I said, do you have any contacts of like where I can individually buy just that because I can't find it online and instead they sent me one so I was so so touched because I was quite happy to go and buy it I just needed to know who to talk to so um the insert is is new but it's in really really good condition and I love this thing because it has um wheels that pop out the bottom of it so you can like just get baby out and go for a walk if you're like out and about and doing some shopping you're in the car you don't have to transfer them or take a chassis out in the boot it's just it's brilliant so Mark is fitting the ice fix base in the car now and we're trying to work out what order to put the kids in because with two bulky car seats either side if we put Bill in the middle which would be the most sensible choice because he's not like to he's not like the one that would like hit his baby brother or anything like his sister he can't really get in so I don't know if he might go on the outside and Daisy might go in the middle but it's all very complex and new to us but it's exciting so the kids are just eating lunch just in there in the kitchen and um, I was just putting these newborn inserts in I'm going to put the recycling in the bin and then I'm going to try and get started on making a Lancashire hot pot for tea anyway I need to shut up and get on with things <laughs> just made a lamb like Lancashire hot pot I thought it would be nice for Mark because he's from Preston which is in Lancashire if you didn't know and um, I've never made one before so I used like the hairy bikers recipe but I looked at some others as well to sort of get like the best the best outcome it was really easy actually because I've just stuck it in the oven in a casserole dish and that is it now until about, I don't know, 3 o'clock and we're going to eat that and then we're going to watch a film as we always do on a Sunday but I am just folding some laundry um, I washed the sneeze pad like fabric in the washing machine it doesn't say to do that but I took a chance because it definitely needed cleaning and I think it needed something intensive really because there were a few marks on it just from storage really and I think like you know when stains age and then come out worse and um, obviously I cleaned it before we put it away but the good news is it's come up really really well and that is drying on the radiator at the moment so I'm just really pleased because we managed to reuse so much stuff from like having Daisy and um, you do in my 
line of work get offered things to review quite a lot but i wanted to just take it back a bit and just be a i don't know like a normal parent when he's born because the the thing that was hard with daisy is that i did have review items to do and some pr companies didn't understand that my baby was in hospital and i couldn't do it I um, like I hadn't even taken her home let alone put her in a, like a buggy or anything like that and it was a lot of pressure um whereas this time I said like you know I'm just gonna buy everything that we need um and I think that is honestly the right way to do it um it's very tempting obviously when you get offered things um you know and they, they feel like they're for free but you do have to do a lot to sort of deserve them in a way um you have to have built up the following in the first place you um have to make sure your photos are nice or your video is well edited you have to have like a compliant child or baby and sometimes it just it doesn't feel right this time around so i'm just really really pleased to have reused a lot of things that you know we already had and obviously the doona and the snooze pod were review items um so i feel like those companies which i do really love because they've got fantastic products and they're really lovely to work with when daisy with poorly they are getting like you know some extra publicity that they thoroughly deserve because their products are fantastic i don't know why i'm telling you all of this but i think it's quite cool to be transparent about everything sometimes because it's a weird job to have isn't it and i always want you to know that i'm not trying to pull the wool over your eyes and all of that jazz but Yes, they are all all ready now. We just need to build the second part of the snooze pod. And the Dina's in the car, and dinner's done, Daisy's napping, Bill's playing, Mark's on the PlayStation. I am folding laundry um, because I've got some more stuff that I want to put in now. And then it just makes the rest of my week easier because I'm on top of everything then. Because um, Monday is my work day. But I do need to start taking it a bit slower because I am 36 weeks pregnant on Tuesday and I cannot actually believe it. Hello princess. Do you want to come downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Sun is shining 